thank you very much, Terry, and congratulations to the fellow inductees, and thank you very much for the friends and my hunting partners and my handball partners and my brother and my family uh, for coming to this occasion. Uh, I would like to, to especially thank my coach, Bauer, uh, and Coach Shippey, my high school football and basketball coaches. Uh, they, they put up with a lot uh, as I was coming through, and then my brother, and so they had their work cut out for them, but I really appreciate Coach Bauer and Coach Shippey, all of the, the stuff that uh, you put up with, and I still thank you for the T-shirt that I got over in Charlotte. <laughs> I'd like to thank Dr. Jarrett and, and Dr. Fierig because they, those two guys helped me through school uh, tremendously, uh, fixing up my back and my shoulder and my knee and my ribs, and I was, uh, at, at, after my junior year, I was in the hospital almost after every game with, wrapped up in, in heat packs. Doc Fierig was a wonderful guy. I'd like to thank Duffy Doherty, uh, who was my coach. Uh, he was a wonderful guy, and, and uh, we liked him so much that uh, we named our oldest daughter after him, after his daughter, Darcy, or Dree, sorry. <laughs> Not Duffy. Duffy was the dog. Uh, th thanks, Sonny Grandelius, who was my uh, backfield coach. Thanks, Sonny. Uh, I can remember when I uh, w we had to pick out numbers for uh, you know, when you were a sophomore then. And the only number left was number 24, which was Sonny's number. And he was standing just down the road, and I picked that number up, and he said, I hope you're worthy of that number. And Coach, I, I really appreciate all your work too. And, and Bill Yeoman uh, also was, was one of my position coaches. And I, he, 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 was a, he was a hard worker and a very hard disciplinarian coming from the academy. I'd like to thank my children for putting up with a lot of stuff over the years, especially in, more in, in the fishing area. Uh, we missed a lot of times, and, and, uh, but we had a lot of great times. And that was, uh, that's something I look back on. And now with my grandchildren, uh, you are the pride of my life. There's, there's two or three things that, that happen to you as you're going through school. Uh, and there are several things that happen prior to you, you getting to school. And as a high school athlete, you're recruited and you go places and you talk to people and they build you up and, and you kind of get, you think you're a little bit higher than, than what you should. And there's a story that I want to relate to you that uh, was, uh, I still remember it very vividly. Uh, every time I, they mentioned the University of Michigan, uh, I, I actually, I was, I was almost going to Michigan. In fact, I had made my mind up to go to Michigan. And I had visited down uh, in Ann Arbor when I was a junior, and I went down early as a senior. And then the last game of the year, at that time they invited 12 of us back. That was kind of like their uh, star group to become Wolverines. Michigan was playing Ohio State. And there was a fella that was playing at Ohio State named Hopalong Cassidy, among other, some other great players. And there was a chap at, at Michigan named Ron Kramer, among a lot of other great players. And as the game progressed, there, the 12 of us were sitting behind the Michigan bench. And as the game progressed, Michigan would score, Ohio State would score, Michigan would score, Ohio State would score. And it was in the middle of the fourth quarter, Ohio State was ahead by about six points. And Michigan punted the ball. A guy named Lou Baldacci was the kicker. My wife always says you can remember his name, but you can't remember our anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> so Lou Baldacci punted the ball. Nice punt. Howard Cassidy was standing down here to receive the punt about the 25-yard line. And we're all sitting behind the bench. 
players out here in front. Cassidy caught the ball, and I saw Ron Kramer coming down. Kramer was, a, was the All-American, and, and he was about 240 pounds. Cassidy was about 185 pounds. And Kramer was bearing down on him as the ball is coming down to him, didn't give a fair catch signal, and as he caught the ball, Kramer was just, I mean, he was two steps away, and to this day, I remember it so well, Cassidy made a little step to the left, Kramer took the fake, stuck his arm out, and Cassidy came back to the right. Now, as he come back, he picked up a great block here, and he made the turn. Now he's coming right up. I can see him. He's coming up to the 35, the 40, gets right in front of the bench. And all of a sudden, I found myself standing up going, go, Hoppy, go. <laughs> And as I sat back down <laughs> amongst a, a quiet group, I thought to myself, how in the world could you ever think about coming down here? <laughs> so I left, came back, went out on Sunday afternoon out to Duffy's house, knocked on the door, came to the door, and I said, Coach, if it's still available, I'm coming to Michigan State. And that was my recruiting story, <laughs> one, one that is as memorable today as it, as it was back in 1956. But thank you for the committee. Uh, I, I mean, I started at Michigan State working at the Union when I was 14 years old. So I know this place pretty well. I, I know Jenison extremely well. I used to sneak in there all the time. <laughs> and I got, I got to know the guys at the door so well that I could bring two or three of my friends from high school and we could get in the side door. So this is a, a great thing and a, it's, it's a great honor and I just appreciate it so much. And I just thank you so much and I thank for all the support that everybody here gives all of the athletics and congratulations to everybody. Thank you.